So we just doing a regular old oh, cherry berry blend. Oh yeah, and I have my headphones in, so I hope the the video um the audio is good too because I have it in my headphones today. So it's a lot of different things today. You got the um the ring light, that light, and then this right here. So we'll see how it goes. But y'all, this is the blend that I'm using today from Walmart. So far, it's the best um deal that I've seen on frozen fruit and like i said in another video if you know of a place that i can get it cheaper maybe like a costco or something like that definitely let me know um people have been telling me like like my colonic lady that suggested um me to start doing smoothies um again she was telling me like she get her greens mixed from costco and it's like a really good deal so if i get enough stuff you know have enough things from costco to make it worth it i'll do it but you know it's just me in here so if it's something that you know it's like I, it's hard for me to um well, first of all let me tell you what's in here strawberries blueberries pitted dark sweet cherries and pitted red tart cherries so this is the cherry berry blend i usually get the cherry berry blend or just the berry blend um but you know, you know cherries have like different benefits that i didn't even know they had which I can't even, you know, think of it right now. But anyways, I try to have everything here with me today. But yeah, y'all, like I was saying about that. Yeah, if I find enough and then there's there and then um the guy at work was telling me one of the guys at work. Well, I hope that's plugged in. I think it is. One of the guys at work was telling me he got some of his work equipment from Costco. So I'm like, Costco is starting to sound like I should give you a um a membership so y'all i'm not gonna start she told me to like start with the greens but i'm not starting with the greens because the greens is like the easiest thing that i can like just add you know after the water comes in dang i see a whole bunch of cherries in here Ooh, let me show y'all i'm gonna try to show y'all anyway what it look like in there yeah so I'm, I'm gonna try not to go too crazy this much i feel like i should do more i'm gonna do a little more i don't remember how much this bag is i think it's around ten dollars from um Walmart. What was I at the other day? I was somewhere. Another thing I want y'all to tell me if y'all like music in the background or you just like quiet. Cause right now my videos don't I don't have any music in the background. But I can add it, you know. So I ended up putting that much in there. One thing about me, I'll be showing and I don't even be looking. But yeah, I have my Christian shirt on. It's from a brand called Love and Faith. I'm thinking about, um, ew, oh, I forgot. Butter. It was, the milk, the but it was next to the butter. But then the butter, I guess it, it got hot in here. And the butter, like, melted onto the banana. Um, Love and Faith. Oh, yeah, I'm thinking about, I was thinking about um, doing, like, an ambassador program or something with them because I really love their things. I bought, like, eight shirts at once. I told myself to grab a bag, but that's okay. I do not like throwing food away, like, food waste. I have a, I don't know if this is TMI, but I have a, um, I have a worm, a worm farm, a, a worm bin, but I like to call it a farm. <laughs> Cause you know they have like ant farms so I have a worm farm but i gave them like a whole bunch of bananas that i found the other day that was in a a grocery bag that i i didn't even know was anything in there and i'm like oh my gosh bananas and they were already like super brown and when i tell you i don't even remember buying those bananas so i gave them to the worms and when you give them to the worms and you cover it up with dirt it's like you don't smell anything like nothing it's just like it never happened because dirt just naturally like deodorizes stuff. I don't know. It's just I was before I got that worm bin because it's in the house. 
Um, it's in a kitchen, actually. <laughs> but you don't even know it's there. It's hidden. Um, but, you know, I was thinking, like, ooh, is it going to smell, you know? Whatever, nope. I put, as long as, as long as you put the food, cover the food, it don't be, it's not moldy, it's nothing. Now, one time, <laughs> before I knew that, I didn't cover it and I had some grapes and they went moldy. But what I did, I just put dirt right on top of it and it was fine. So I just make sure it's covered with dirt and it's fine. Y'all know, I don't be really measuring it. I just do whatever feels good to me. You know, and this is, if you... <laughs> This is, I'm sorry, y'all. Uh, I forgot everybody not here from all the videos. Hemp seeds. Chia seeds. Black seeds. And then, um, I got these from Walmart years ago, y'all. And they're still good. And I'm going to say this on every video. You know when it's not good because it'll smell oily. That's been my experience with it in any ways. You know, it'll smell oily and it'll taste oily. You be like, oh you'll mess up your whole, your whole smoothie. Cause I've done it. I've done it. And then for my, um, I just found some collagen powders that I bought from Walmart not too long ago in my bedroom. Cause I'll be putting supplement stuff in my bedroom, but I was like, this needs to come in. But y'all, it's like, I have so much stuff and I don't have a lot of kitchen space, y'all. So this one again from Amazing Grass. I really have to get an affiliate. Hopefully, um, I can work on that this week, y'all. I've, I've been this one got butter. Oh, that um, that banana must have touched this. But yeah, so this is the Amazing Grass Super Green Green Superfood Digest. Oh my gosh, Detox and Digest. The daily greens. Um, I ha yeah, I don't know if I just got used to the taste or what, but I, I can't taste it anymore. That first time I could, I think maybe because it just wasn't enough fruit. So, I didn't put a lot of fruit today either. So I just put you know, a spoonful. When I have my favorite flavor, I'll overfill that thing. But not today. All right. So, I think the only thing left is the Greek yogurt. Stonyfield Greek yogurt. My favorite whole milk. I don't do no non-fat stuff. I want all the fat. All the fat. I try to get stuff as natural as possible, you know. I can't. One thing I can't do is whole milk. Not, like in my cereal and stuff? No, ma'am. I need 2%. I'm sorry. Mm-mm. It's too... I tried to do it one time. Mm. I ain't even gonna tell y'all. It was like... I don't know. It just gave me like... It said three-fourths a cup of yogurt, so... A little over that, I think. I just... It was too thick for me. It was too thick for me. But one thing I do want to do um, is... Start... Well, I want to start purchasing organic everything from like farms and stuff. Um, I want to get some whole milk and start making my own. I want to get some raw whole milk is what I'm trying to say, y'all. Some raw whole milk and start making my own yogurt. Um, yeah, I want to get raw milk, raw butter, raw cheese. Because I know it's really good for you. Now we about to do the greens. So far, this is what it looks like. Oh yeah, I forgot to put it up here so y'all can see it. Uh, my bad, y'all. My bad. So I'm gonna stuff this baby with greens. I feel like I'm missing something. Oh, I just heard. Something. I got the frozen fruit bananas, yogurt, greens, and all those little added things. I guess not. All right, that's enough for now. I'm gonna put some water. Some more. Where's the um? Okay, it's hot in, but I see it. Got my what's this pure? 
filter water. Y'all, I want y'all to see. All right, good enough. Might be a little too much because I wanted to put some more greens in there. I like the way it looks before. I like stuff like this. I'll, I'll watch. I'll watch it do what it do. It's just, it always amazes me. Look at that. Like, that's about to turn to liquid real quick. Right about now, I'll be getting ready to put my headphones, turn my headphones on so I don't hear it. But, it's okay. Alright, y'all. Y'all ready? One, <laughs> two, three. I'm going to go like two more times. thumbnail y'all because i'd be like um <laughs> y'all i don't know what to do i don't know how to pose for camera for the picture or nothing i'm not gonna try to pose i'm just gonna i'm gonna just try to do something slow or something okay it's more liquidy which means probably not gonna have as much flavor moment of truth okay cheers all right Yeah, it's good. Mm hmm I wonder why the first one, I just didn't have as much. I know what it was. The first one, the, the um, banana just was not overripe. And, and it, isn't that crazy? How you literally eating the same banana. The same banana could be, you know what I'm saying? The taste can just change so much in a matter of days. And that's really what it is. It's that banana. It's so good, y'all. Definitely. I hope, I hope people, this, in, you know, inspires people, encourages people to drink their smoothies because. Mm, this is good. So, I try to make this video quicker than the other videos mm. and I succeeded y'all I succeeded I didn't really say anything much um about anything I don't think I don't think I really talked about anything did I um another thing I need to work on is looking at the looking at y'all and not looking at myself so I'm trying to do better with that too um yeah y'all God is amazing y'all man i was just talking to a friend right before this video started and we were just is it basically everything she was saying was the stuff that was on my mind like just because i was thinking about reaching out to her but then i'm like man it's just every single y'all i had this horrible experience with this ministry <laughs> look i'm like i made a video short but then I'm, now i'm talking because i want to give a message i don't know what it's gonna be but i'm gonna just talk i had this horrible experience and it just made me scared of people y'all because literally every person that i encountered in this ministry was evil like like everybody came to me with an agenda i won't yeah they were evil <laughs> they were evil but i used to be evil too i used to be wicked too and i'm sure i have some evil wicked ways that's still in me because i'm i'm human you know what i'm saying we, we we live in a a fallen world you know and the devil is the god of this world that's just what it is and you know i always have to check myself and make sure that i'm in alignment with god and not allowing people to be wicked to, to to make me wicked you know and uh, you know i always like when i go through things i'm like 
you know, like just different things. Like, you know, let me, I'm trying to think of an example. Like if somebody slapped me, I'm like, oh my God, they slapped me. And it's like, hold on, I've slapped somebody before. You know, like some, you know, so many times we take things out on people knowingly or unknowingly. I know I can still work on myself and being more positive and more, um, you know, I noticed like little things like I'm like, man, this one guy at the work at the job is always complaining about something. Like I complain about things a lot. Like I didn't even notice one time I was talking to this lady and I was like, oh man, I wish I'm like, I'm so glad we don't have mask here. I don't have to wear a mask here. And I'm like, the, the other place <clears throat> that I deliver to, the other hospital I deliver to, we got to ma wear a mask. And she was like, oh, who cares? <laughs> I was like, you know what? You're right. Like, why would you care? And it's like, that, that was, I guess that was me complaining. Like, I don't, for me, in my mind at the time, I was thinking like, I was, you know, saying like, oh, I'm being appreciative. But then I thought about it like, that was, I was complaining. Like, why am I complaining about something that I can't change? So... Yeah, so it's, 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 so, okay, reflection. So, today I'm talking about reflection. So, that's, my Bible verse is going to be something about reflection, which y'all already thought by now. Because I'm going to start putting them in the beginning and the end of the video until I get an intro. My intro, I want to say, I want to remind people to like the video and subscribe. Because I noticed I have a lot of people watch, not a lot, to me it's a lot. <laughs> a lot of people watching that's, that don't like the Excuse me. They don't like the videos or that don't subscribe. And that could be because they don't like the videos. And they don't want to subscribe. But just in case they do, I know that it does help to have that reminder. Because I even notice with myself, if somebody don't tell, don't remind me to do it, I don't really think about it. And the next thing you know, I'm on to the next video. The next video is already planned. So that's why um, I try to put at the end of my videos my little face where you can subscribe and if people want to you know watch another video or watch a playlist or something i have that there for people too so yeah y'all tell me how y'all like this video or whatever um and yeah so what did i say y'all i forgot already about the word of the day reflection reflection so right now i'm just i'm doing the smoothie videos but i do want to do i'm definitely going to do more interactive videos and stuff like that i'm mad y'all i went to the zoo and we had so much fun but it was like it was so clippy like i, I recorded a lot but it was like I, I put it on my um instagram stories but i'm like that would be a nice video to put on here um and i could go to the zoo again but it was fun because like I went with a friend and then we we met another friend there and we, we just we hung out the rest of the time there and it was pouring down raining at times and then it was like super dry so maybe at y'all okay so, so so since i'm talking about it i'll put a clip i'll put some clips of our time at the zoo um and uh yeah i'll figure out i'll figure out uh a, a, a verse for today because i'm talking about the zoo but i'm also talking about reflection so I don't know. Maybe somebody watching this want to see some animals. So I will see y'all next time. I love y'all. Okay. If nobody else, that's another thing I said I got to tell y'all. If nobody else told you they love you, I love you, but God loves you more. Stay prayed up, y'all. Stay close to God. If you if you don't believe in God, if you don't think there is a God, if you're mad at God, talk to Him anyway. Hey y'all, because I'm telling y'all. Let me just tell you a story real quick. I've always been a Christian. I always loved God. But y'all, there was a point in my life after my best friend passed away where I was lost. I was seeking answers and truth. And, you know, I'm like, who is God really? And stuff like that. And, y'all, I went, I was, I was watching all type of videos on YouTube, y'all. I was seeing tarot card readers. I was seeing psychic. I was seeing people doing black magic. And I was just, but I was talking to God about all these things, right? in my head because the devil can read he can hear you but he but he can't hear your thoughts he can give you thoughts but he can't hear your thoughts he can hear you talk but he can't hear your thoughts so i would talk to god in my head like you know god what's this what's that and i now now looking back i see that that was god showing me the different things that i need to see in that world so that i can help bring people out because that's what he's been using me to do because it's deception y'all and i and i tell people that but i'm only i can only plant a seed i can't i can't make it grow only god can make it grow but so one day i was like god who are you like because they're talking about we need to do this with our ancestors they're talking about we're the beings we are god i mean y'all i was seeing so many different things and i was i was talking to god i said god 
my creator, the person who create me, the one who is there when I need him. You know what I'm saying? The one who answer my prayers when I pray, right? The creator of everything, the God who created the world, right? I, I'm standing in my head. Who are you? Show me who you are. And y'all, when I tell you, I don't even remember what happened. All I know is, I don't even know y'all what happened. I just know that from that, I just know that maybe that's when he was telling me, like, choose today who you will serve, me or your family. And I said, him. And, and I mean, he just been showing me. Oh, y'all, this is this is bringing me back. Because God, when I tell you he has been showing me who he is, when I tell you I gave everything up for God, I said, God, I gave everything up, Lord. You give me back what you want me to have. And God, y'all, I went from nothing. Like, I went from nothing, like, nothing like literally saw my last twenty dollars into this ministry from hell but god sent me there y'all and he just been blessing me like y'all when i tell you i didn't know if i was gonna be homeless the next day but i trust god i didn't i didn't have i, I got away from everything everybody i changed my number i changed i was self-employed you know from employed stuff y'all i gave it all to god and god showed me who he was every step of the way y'all god was like do you trust me do you trust me? Do you trust me? And every step of the way, I'm like, I trust you, God. I trust you, God. I trust you, God. And not only was it building my faith, building my trust in God, but shoot, is that what I'm building my faith, building my trust in God? But it was helping me to hear his voice more. Because I'm like, okay, God, is this you? Is this really you talking to me? You know? And it would like come true and God tell me this is going to happen. It ain't happening. You know? So it's just like, yeah, man, I'm just just saying that for whoever that's for, whoever that's for. All right, y'all. Bye. <laughs>it's like the bigger they are the darker they are mm -hmm. yeah that one probably a, a younger one yeah it looks so interesting it's like their body's like leaning up